Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. As someone who spent their childhood up north, I can confidently say that I absolutely hate winter. It's cold, I have to wear so many layers of clothing just to keep warm, and I despise the grueling task of shoveling snow off the driveway. Which is why I'm spending my normal everyday life here in the sweltering hot furnace that is Florida, USA. Where it's hot 24-7, baby! So when our main character moves into the snowy town of Yubane and expresses his troubles, I welcomed him as a fellow brother in arms. That is, before the winter waifus got to him. Welcome to the August Hale, and today we're going to be taking a look at a slice of life visual novel exploring the wonders of a winter paradise, Yukikoi Melt. Our main character Miharu meets five individuals of the Winter Club, a club dedicated to winter activities and fun. First off, Taruhi, the Winter Club's ace, despite her not liking the cold either. Kanon, the rambunctious hurricane troublemaker. Shizuri, the warmly fuzzy Onesan, And Yuki, the winter loving snow princess herself, all led by Usagi, the school scarf wearing club president. Together, the heroines seek to viciously reform Miharu through the Winter Club's activities to make him enjoy winter. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying that if you buy the Steam version of the visual novel, you are buying an incomplete version. The prologue and the common route were cut from the Steam version of the game to avoid any links to school themes. This version also only contains the Taruhi route. To restore the other routes, you have to download the free 18 plus patch on Just USA. Let's talk about the music and the art. Yukikoi Melt does a great job in expressing the winter snowscape that is the town of Ibane. When our characters are not outside, the visual novel shows their various living spaces, each conveying a warm and comfy atmosphere, while also showing the characters being comfy themselves. The music also fits the winter wonderland theme with very positive, uplifting vibes. This works out for the visual novel since a lot of the content is slice of life moments. Now while I say that, there isn't any particular tracks that stick out to me, but on the other hand, the soundtrack does its job well to not be a distraction either. The common route is dedicated to having Miharu warm up to the cast. It's quite simple to choose the character you want to follow, where all you have to do is pick them. For character progression, I went with Kanon, Yuki, Shizuri, and Taruhi. On a separate note, I am so upset that there is no Usagi route. Honestly, she's the best character in the Winter Club, and she's way more interesting than these four. Her attitude is quite extraordinary, but she's an integral part of the Winter Club as her honest, wise words are very meaningful and encouraging to her friends. So let's begin with Canon. Canon is nicknamed the Hurricane due to her hot-blooded, outgoing personality, always stirring something up. Wait, do you guys hear something? Is, ah, is that? Wait, wait, wait! Canon is the most entertaining and loudest one out of the group of heroines as she actively tries to have our main character enjoy winter to its fullest, second only to Snow Princess Yuki. I like the contrast between her and the main character as her attitude naturally thaws out Miharu's reserved nature. Canon wants Miharu to love winter, often taking him on escapades. But as our wise club president explains, you cannot force someone to love what they hate. Conscious of this, Canon is actually considerate in that fashion which is a nice balance to her turbulent, pushy antics and this ends up being a big part of her route. Eventually, slowly but surely, she starts warming Miharu up to her wintertime whims through Miharu's own volition. After all, what better way to overcome your fears than to confront them yourself? And you know what? Maybe I'll do so too. Well, here goes nothing. Yuki is the most dedicated to enjoying winter and will strongly convey the pure essence of the joys of winter to Miharu and the reader. As the resident snow princess, a lot of her efforts are dedicated to the act of celebrating winter through ice sculpting, winter life hacks, and hot pot. Lots of hot pot. Yuki is also quite expressive about her love for winter and once Miharu and Yuki get into their relationship, the pure opposites that they are, prepare to hear a whole lot of Daddy, 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 Daddy. Aside from, Daddy. there isn't much to this route at all. Well, besides a whole lot of cuddling and steamy meat buns, and of course, Daddy. Shizuri is our resident big sister slash mother character, and a lot of her responsibilities fall towards being the warm and tender hearth for the Winter Club, in the literal sense of the word. Shizuri. 
Shizuri is very sincere and honest, but she tends to overthink a lot, being so preoccupied with her concerns that make her sweat buckets. Strangely, there's more thought put into Shizuri's route, albeit in a very unorthodox manner. But her route expresses the need of wanting to be more open to others and the reassuring support of her friends, no matter how much water is excreted from her body. Finally, we have Taruhi, our comrade in arms who equally dislikes the winter season. Taruhi is the most airheaded one of the Winter Club, and everyone knows it. Most of Taruhi and Miharu's interactions are playful banter between the two of them, with Taruhi often being the party being teased the most, with her innocent, naive self, along with her many facial expressions. Occasionally, though, she does snap back, in the same teasing fashion. Well, one person may have died. <laughs> Alright, so let me address the elephant in the room. So I know everyone is wondering about her cat ears, and whether or not she's an actual cat. So what better way to explain it than to just show you? Play this game. <laughs> I, I, I think the, skull, the quick save is a good choice here. <laughs> what is the skull, Mark? New series is a bad idea. Uh, confirmed they are fluff. Oh Bad end. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, it certainly tells you when a bad end is there. So. At least it helps you out with that. Once we get into Taruhi's route herself, it's a rough storm for Miharu to weather as he has to try to deal with Taruhi's dense attitude. It's both exciting and frustrating to watch these two come together, and we're not the only ones watching. Once the two get into their relationship, it feels a lot like the same back and forth dialogue between the two, showing off them in dating scenarios, with a bit of passionate love mixed in. On a completely separate note, like seriously, is it just me or is this visual novel a lot more hornier than it appears to be? Eventually, as the two winter-hating individuals in the club confide in one another, they explore the meaning of winter to themselves and their friends, leading them both to happiness in the season they originally hated. While I can express the sweet themes and messages that Yukikoi Melt has to say about winter and opening yourself up to people and experiences to find happiness, you'll have to endure the tough harshness of winter first. What I mean by this is that the visual novel spends an awful lot of time with our main character and heroine flirting around where nothing really meaningful happens. It looks pretty and comforting on the surface for a cute girls do cute things in winter visual novel, but if you're someone looking for a bit more meat on your visual novel, you'll be disappointed by this. Yukikoi Melt gets a 2 out of 5 from me. It's got cute characters and an alright production to back it up. In this case, I would recommend other visual novels in this genre that can hold your attention better. Would have been better if Usagi got a route. God damn it, she's so good. Subscribe if you liked the video and want to see more. Check back every week for new content. For more of my thoughts and the most up-to-date news on videos, you can find me on Twitter, at The August Tale. Check out some of my other anime visual novel reviews on my channel playlist. Links are in the description down below.